Welcome to Vietnam, a rather a miniature version of Vietnam in my garden. Now, I don't mean to trivialise this war by building toy soldiers, but I think when you're interested in a period of history and you research it, um, you will develop a greater understanding of what, what happened. And um, there's a lot of we can learn from the Vietnam War, even today to all our politicians, the military. Anyway, enough of the politics. The war in Vietnam, it lasted well, over 30 years. Indochina was a French colony before the Second World War. After France fell, Japan occupied Indochina. French rule was restored in 1945, but France withdrew in 1954 after losing the Battle of Dien Bien Phu. Vietnam was split into the Communist North and the Republic in the South. The North wanted to reuni reunite Vietnam using military force. America supported the Republic in the South, providing military support. During the 1960s the war escalated. In 1968 the North launched the Tet or New Year Offensive which was in the end defeated but with lots of losses. The American public opinion was turning against the continuation of the war and America gradually be began to withdraw its forces in the 1970s. And in 1975, North Vietnamese tanks occupied Saigon, bringing the war to an end. So, my recreation, I, I cheated a bit with this one. I, I found these Diagostini tanks and I've just repainted them. The, the figures are by Italieri, those are American Special Forces, and these are North Vietnamese and Viet Cong, also by Italieri. Again, the T-54, 55, I know that didn't actually face the Americans and they didn't appear till much later in the war. This convoy here represents the maybe the Ho Chi Minh Trail, where the Chucks trucks were bringing supplies from down from the north to the south. Again, these little figures by Italeri are, are brilliant. A couple of sets of these. North Vietnamese army. The Americans also had convoys, which is this one is about to be ambushed. The American answer to this was to fit some of the trucks with armor and arms to protect the convoys. Another interesting vehicle that did face up to American M48 tanks was the Soviet PT-76. In Russian, PT stands for swimming tank. Again, I cheated with these. These are ready-built models and I've just repainted them in North Vietnamese colors. Another one of the M48 tanks. The other 
advantage the Americans had was air power and it was the first war that uh, a helicopter was used to transport troops to the front lines and also used them um, in attack. Other American vehicles are the uh, 113 armored personnel carriers which we're seeing again in Ukraine. This is the S model version and an Airfix one. Another vehicle by Airfix is the Sheridan tank. It's a very old kit but builds up really nicely. American this is a, a light tank and it was meant to be air portable and had a very unusual gun which could fire a missile as well as a shell. In Vietnam the Americans used a canister shot because they were mainly fighting infantry in the jungle situation. The Italy figures have got a lot of character in them. Just looking at this little group here. Well, starting from the right, that's got to be John Wayne. He's a Green Beret. And then, of course, he's got to be Rambo, isn't he? Those muscles. Maybe this one's William Defoe from Platoon. And also represented are the uh, black American soldiers as well. The, the man, the wounded man, I think is one of the Vietnam memorials. It looks like it's based on that statue, which I was lucky enough to visit when I went to Washington. Very, very moving. And the Americans always named their tanks after their famous generals. This is the Patton, named after General Patton of World War II fame. And Sheridan was a general on the Union side in the uh, American Civil War. This building was a result of lots of cups of coffee. So I built it with using the stirrers. And this was from matchsticks and uh, sticks. Now these lovely buildings here, which represent a Vietnamese village, they're by a company called Sarissa, and they are MDF. They're all pre-cut. You just push them out, paint them up. Really lovely buildings. They have a huge range. So, I hope you enjoyed another battlefield tour in miniature. I really do appreciate you watching. Thank you, there seems to be lots of people subscribing and I'm really grateful for that. And I hope this encourages you to find out a little more about the Vietnam War. But the most important thing is, um, I hope it encourages you to uh, try and build up a few models. It's good fun. Thank you for watching.